today's October 7th, Monday morning. We're going back to that job to uh, finish up that uh, event, meet the inspector, the gas inspector, and the sheet metal inspector. We'll get this buttoned up. Hopefully I'll be able to charge the unit today. And later on in the day, uh, run the heat. And then wrap that duck, duck work. I should be done. Try to get some footage for you. All right, stay tuned. Here's two permits. Here's the permit for gas. And then here's the permit for sheet metal. Guys, I'm here to go charge this unit. I just started it up. So close. 1.3, so I'm going to have a refrigerant to it. Thermal expansion valve, so I'm gonna set it by sub cool. Let's see what it calls for. Right, I got the charging got char here, 75 degree outside temperature, it's about 80 out, 5 tons. Sub cool recommendation is 11. 5 tons. 75. 77. So we're looking for about 11.
but I'm happy with that. Evaporate the temperature is at 37. So it's not going to freeze at 37, so we're good. Anything below 100 on the suction side on 410A, you got to really watch out. That's it. I got my gas inspection. The return wrapped. Got the supply all wrapped. Electrician came and wired the, wired the unit. What I gotta do now is I got the um, I got the smoke pipe hooked up. The B vent. Put a couple of hangers down on the floor to strengthen it. I talked to the landlord about the return. He said he's gonna think about it. So we'll see if I can get that him to do that. Um, I charged the unit. The suction pressure was a little bit lower than I like, but that's because of the lack of return. So we'll see. I'm gonna give him a price on um, putting a 16 inch flex on this thing, and it will run a lot better with that. So all I'm gonna do is, um, is fire up the gas now. You gotta wait for the kids to go um, go home at f kids go home at five. So I'll. I'll fire it up because a lot of times when you run these units for the first time they smoke the place up a little bit and the smoke alarms go off. So we'll uh we'll wait until all the kids go home at five and I'll come back and I'll fire this baby up. In case the smoke alarms go off it won't be an issue. That's it, it's complete. This is my third day. Actually two full days, probably like two and a half days. Basically what it took me to do this whole job, take the old system out, put the new system in, run the refrigerant lines, um, new condenser outside, and uh, they should be good to go now for many years. Firing up. I just left the daycare. I got the heating system up and running, and I got the approval to put that 16-inch return uh, on that return uh, system. We, we need to put a 16-inch flex on that return. Now give me 2,000 CFMs for the five tons. So I'm glad that they uh, agreed to go with that. Three 12-inch flex on a return is only 900 CFMs. That's not enough for five tons. I checked the supply, the supply is uh, within, I think it's like um, 1800 CFM, so we're close there on the supply. So, two Saturdays, uh, you can't do it this Saturday, but next Saturday, two Saturdays from now, we'll, um, I'll put that return in and I'll get some uh, footage on that. When there, I'll have to check the charge on the uh, condensing unit again after I put that return in. it definitely make a difference. Alright guys, hey, I appreciate you watching and um, we'll be doing some new stuff really soon. Alright, bye.